3D scanning and rendering is moving way too fast, and this new technology is gonna change photogrammetry, 3D scanning, and even 3D rendering forever. It is a little something called Gaussian splatting. This technology sounds, on paper at least, too good to be true. Just recently, Nerf started taking over and becoming way better, with a ton of research papers that would drop almost every other week. And out of nowhere, now we have Gaussian splatting, which is splatting all over the place. The point is, the future of 3D scanning is here, and we are all here for it. This is why Gaussian splatting is a big deal, and why you should care about it too. First, let's put some ground rules. Let's start with what we know, photogrammetry. We all know photogrammetry. You take data, set mainly an image sequence, and you run it through a reconstruction algorithm that provides you a camera position with a point cloud. From this point cloud, you can generate a mesh that you can then project the texture into. And then we have Nerf, which also uses an input of 2D images. However, it uses a neural network approach to train and thus represent the radiance field. Nevertheless, these things are very costly to train and to render, and more importantly, they can never achieve real-time rendering, which is one of the most important goals. And then there is Gaussian splatting. So what is it? You can think of Gaussian splatting as a way to represent a 3D scene without the need for traditional geometry. So the scene will be composed of hundreds of millions of splats, also known as Gaussians. Each splat looks like an elongated blob. These splats are not just merely simple colored blobs, but they can hold a lot of information like the ability to show different colors from various angles to mimic view-dependent effects, and even the shape of each splat will differ based on multiple factors like point color, intensity, etc. This new approach is super exciting for many reasons. The first one that comes to mind is that it renders way faster than Nerf. Gaussian splatting is basically still a radiance field just without the slow neural rendering part, which makes the process astronomically faster, especially when rendering. Some people explain the tech as similar to Nerf. There is actually nothing neutral about it. And while it doesn't use a neural network, the training loop is very similar to deep learning. Not only that, but unlike Nerf, with Gaussian splatting, you have an explicit representation of the scene, which is comprised of this ellipsoid splice of Gaussians. What's powerful about this is that you can render your scene in real time effortlessly using simple 3D operations. Now, one might argue that photogrammetry is very fast to render, which is true. However, the beauty of Gaussian splatting is that you can retain all those photorealistic rendering effects. This is because Gaussian splatting uses spherical harmonics, which is precisely why it is able to render all those view-dependent effects in lighting like reflection, glare, and the change of specularity, all without the need for a neural network, which makes it a great time to be alive. Last but not least, the cherry on top is direct lighting. Gaussian splatting supports direct 3D editing, which means you can select, delete, move, and relight things. And due to the complex representations of neural networks, direct content editing is virtually impossible with Nerf. But with Gaussian splatting, this is very possible. So you got speed as well as editability, along with all the other features. So there is no wonder why Splatty Boy right here is the talk of the town. Anyways, this technique can change the landscape of photo scanning forever. Like it's only been a couple of weeks, and there is already a Gaussian splatting viewer for Unity, in addition to Unreal. There is a version being developed for iOS as well and there isn't even a WebGL web viewer. Some people have actually implemented this in Unreal Engine, and the tech is not perfect yet. But the future of this approach is very promising, and this could change how we view things, especially how we think about video games and digital content in general. And one of the first apps that are implementing this new tech is called Kiri Engine, for both Android and iOS. The Kiri Engine team has always been at the forefront of any innovation in this field, and you can feel that they are excited about bringing new stuff to the user as much as they enjoy using them. 
Jack, the co-founder, the other day dropped a video outlining the Gaussian splatting and how you can take advantage of this inside the Kiri Engine app. Kiri was one of the first apps to offer 3D scanning for both Android and iOS. The app offers traditional photogrammetry, the LiDAR mode, the new featureless object scan, and now there is the new 3DGS, which is very exciting. You can not only create 3DGS models using Kiri Engine, but embed them in your website as well. To start using 3DGS Capture, pick the feature with the same name from the shoot mode list. Similar to object scan, take a video around your object. And if you can't capture the whole object in one rotation, you can take multiple videos. Now simply submit the video to the Kiri Engine server. And in a few minutes, you will get your 3DGS model. For the embedding part, maybe you have an online shop and you want customers to be able to inspect the model or the product on the website. All you need to do is go to Query Engine Web under the new 3DGS tab, which will hold all your scans in the app. Now, the process is as simple as copying the embed code from the website to where you want to embed it. And voila, you have a fully functional 3D model on your website. So if you think this new technology is interesting and you want to try Query Engine for free, you can follow the link in the description. And to understand more about the technology, the researcher has created a website where you can read more about the Gaussian splatting and their research papers, in addition to how you use it and all the good stuff. And of course, all the links will be in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.